All right, hi. So, being a property boss for real. So, this is a um, concept that's out there that in real estate you're not doing anything. You buy the real estate and you just rent it out and it just brings money in every month. Now, when you get into actual real estate, again, I have not owned the real estate, but so this is purely from what I've seen. Um, when you when you follow it up, it's actually quite a lot of work, right? So that's one of the reasons why you have to be smart about it. Um, so if you follow uh, Grant Cardone, um, he's generally not going to show you how much work goes behind the real estate, but he'll basically along the way tell you that one of the reasons why he charges any fees is because he has to manage the properties and he has to do multiple things. Then you also go on to um, a guy by the name of Ben Mella, I believe he also owns like a hundred million um, in, in, in property if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe a bit more, I might be mistaken. But it is multiple millions and multiple tens of millions, if not a hundred million. And uh, same story, and he's doing it privately, right? so he's not even, he doesn't even have like, a, from my understanding, a fund. Um, like Ron Cardone, he does it purely on his own of his um, family. And to get to the point is when you watch his videos, his videos are a bit more raw. So his videos are actually have him looking at properties, trying to negotiate um, amounts, um, trying to look at the valuation of the property, whether it makes sense or not, going to properties, finding out that it's too much um, or enough. Uh, looking at the actual quality of the property, how much work it needs, then getting your contractors, then fighting for rent and all of that stuff. You have to do it. Now, a lot of the time, you give the idea that you don't have to go through all of that. Again, it's going to depend on what type of property you're managing. So, if you're managing cottages, like in townships, um, then generally it's not as much, right? But you also got to remember that the class that you're facilitating to is different. If all you're offering someone is a room, like literally just like a room, and they have to bring their own bed and that's about it. That's all they get is just a room. Very little can go wrong, right? If, if I'm literally just giving you a room and I have like two plug points and that's it. Not much can go wrong. Maybe, and then maybe I expand it a bit more and there's like a toilet. Some instances it's shared. So less amenities but it also means a lower rent and obviously less things can go wrong um, on top of that you also find that a lot of things don't get done legally so there's no actual contract um, there's no um, insurance in any way there's a lot of things that don't get done it's just like a month-to-month -month situation so now it's a matter of who am I catering to am I catering something that legit or not Kind of like building a house, right? You've got one way of building a house where you, you get everything licensed and everything sorted out, or you can get another one where you just call up some guy to build a house for you. And it's going to be cheaper, but there's certain risks. <coughs> so it goes according to what your, your, your preference is. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with building cottages. I'm purely saying that you can't compare multifamily with cottages. It's a totally different game. In the one, you're renting out like a thousand. In the other, you're renting out like four thousand, right? And and so on. So, in the other, there's insurance. There's longer term contracts. There's less noise. There's um, better security. There's a better lifestyle, more amenities, etc. So all of these things are eating into the lifestyle and who you're actually looking looking to rent to. So. Again, when you take all of this into consideration, generally, even if you try to do the, the, the property deals yourself, it would kind of work out what Easy Equity is doing it if you did it the way they did it. It would probably work out to similar to what you're, you'd be getting, but instead of quarterly, you'd be getting it monthly. Um, and then obviously, you probably would, you probably would have worked on better leverage. So instead of um, borrowing 25 to 35% at the bank, you'd probably be borrowing 
like 80 to 90 percent so the leverage would be higher and then you'd be working on cash flow and this so you would structure it differently but the point is um through easy properties what we're doing is we get into proper boss status which is basically remember that the, the, the goal at the end has always been i don't want to work i want the money to work i want to relax that's basically what you're doing so <clears throat> that's what easy properties does you pump the money in and you just relax and they get all the work done so that's what i'm saying that through easy properties you can then consider yourself a real boss you have a five-year plan on it um money comes in quarterly it's cool and then there's an exit and they literally do all the work for you they if they 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 leasing it out they finding the tenants they get the insurance everything gets sorted and you literally just lean back and, and see that money coming in so that's kind of the ultimate so as soon as you get into your properties realize that you've reached boss status and then it's just a matter of what level of boss are you at are you contributing a thousand to the property or a hundred thousand ten thousand or a million to the property lastly um if the property is let's say 16 million right and you put the entire 16 million in and well, let's just say the entire 20 million in, right um you'd be getting <coughs> what hundred thousand a year back hundred thousand a year back for literally doing nothing that's about that's it's about ten thousand a month if i'm not mistaken or nine thousand a month or so and you you're not just gonna say not, not just gonna say that so that's the one the other is you want to build it up as a legacy if you build it up as a legacy then you have a one up on everyone else but that's probably the next video before it gets to that thanks for tuning in cheers